Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. This video is about updating the firmware on your ISDT chargers. Now it's very simple, they have an app that we can use to do this process which makes it rather easy. Let's switch over to the computer and I will show you where to download it. The link to the website will be in the video description below, but let's go to support. And the first thing we need to do is download the application software. And we need to go to, you, you would choose Mac or Windows, depending on which um, computer you have. So I'm gonna select Windows. You click on here and you see it's downloading. Now I'm gonna to go to my downloads file. There it is, we're just gonna double click that and then we're gonna say extract all and extract. And there we go. We actually, if we go back, you'll see we've still got, we could delete this file now if we wanted to. And all you're gonna do is double click this and install it into your computer. And because it's already on my machine, it's gonna say, I'm going to say next, but it's going to say, do I want to modify or repair? So I'm going to say, say cancel. You would carry on uh, with the installation. Once you've downloaded the application software and installed it, then we need to just run that program. Okay, back to the computer. So I am going to go to my ISD Go firmware. Let me just close this in the background. As you can see, it's waiting for the device. So all we need to do is plug a USB cable in to the charger and plug it into our computer. So if we look at the screen of the computer, we will see now the Q8 has come up and the current version is 1.1.0.2 and there is a new one and it's modified the minimal discharge and to show, uh, show bug. So anyway, we can proceed with the update. Now we're going to click update. There we go. Process has started. There we go, and we've got the new version on there. It's showing us the latest version, so now we are ready to go. What has been suggested to me by one of my subscribers is that you recalibrate the charger, which I would suggest is a good idea. There we go, the firmware's updated, it was that simple. Uh, it's nice having the app to be able to do this because it makes the process very simple. Thanks for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.